Hey folks, this is Mark Albertazzi. I'm a nautical and sailing photographer located here in San Diego. And we just completed a man overboard uh, video. It's going to be coming out soon from the folks from West Coast Multi Hole in California Cruising. But I'm here with my buddy JR from Altex, and he's been in the water shooting today with this amazing housing. And JR, I got to get me one of these things, but first you got to tell me what this thing is and, and tell me about it and how it came to be. Yeah, it really started out as a hobby. My cousin and I um, grew up around water. I grew up swimming, surfing. He was a hiker and a camper. And in the market, there are on one end of the spectrum hard cases, hard case housing, which are great for dedicated use, but they're not very versatile. Okay. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got what we call bags that are cheap, but you kind of get what you pay for. Yeah. And out of our own necessity, we came up with the idea and we try to combine the best of both worlds. So we wanted a malleable, flexible, universal housing that not only works on different cameras and lenses, but maintains all of your control because you've got tactile feedback. So the housing itself is flexible. I can access all of the functionality of my lens. I can change the focal length the zooming, I can change the settings, I can go from manual to auto. Yeah, this stuff really, I mean, I, I'm surprised at how tactile this thing really is. Right, so. and so we wanted to combine that functionality with the performance of a professional housing. Because it is so lightweight and compact, we're able to offer optical glass ports. Oh, this is glass? It's optical glass. So oh. you, you can spend thousands of dollars on housing and be shooting through acrylic where with ours, it's a $400 kit and you're shooting through optical glass. So performance wise, it's a great solution, but it's also travel friendly, you know, it's affordable and it is universal. And this is actually our second generation. Our first generation housing was not transparent. And so we had a much more finite market because only the people that really knew their cameras or their gear really well were able to do it. But with the transparent housing, with the second generation, the market has really opened up because not only is it waterproof and you can go as far as 35 feet underwater, uh, so you can basically use anything that you want, whether it's surfing, snorkeling, swimming, that kind of stuff, but it's also very versatile. So in a boat environment like this, yeah. you know, you can be up above the water, you can get sprayed, you know, you can go surfing, kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, so all things, yachting, boating, fishing, are very Altex friendly, okay. uh, and so that that works in its favor. So JR, you know the one thing I noticed, I mean, you know, it's the same uh, basically covering thing, but there's two different glass elements on the front. Uh, what, what what's that all about? Right. So we have flat ports and we have dome ports. Dome ports uh, are ideal for split level photography. So when you're doing uh... above and below photography. A dome port really helps and without getting overly complicated what it does is it corrects for optical changes that happen oh. when light changes speed as it's traveling through air versus water so a ray of light as it enters the water changes speed and so things appear in a different spot gotcha and the domes help correct for a number of those things and again because we're using optical glass the qualities compared to acrylic are different we do have two different sizes. This is our small and more travel friendly size. Uh -huh. And we have an even larger size that if I was doing like a pool commercial photo shoot, I might use. But for something like this today where I'm out and about, I'm traveling, I'm lugging equipment around, we've got a dozen cup cameras all over the place. The smaller port comes in really handy. But then the flat port is good for everything else. So if you're either above water getting spray and that stuff, or if you're below, uh -huh. completely below, the flat port is all you need. Now, if you guys are wondering how you look, actually look through your viewfinder, mm -hmm. there's actually a glass plate on the back as well. So, you know, I can literally look right through the eyepiece and I've got, you know, I can see all my controls, all my settings and everything. That's right. Now, you know, I still got some buddies who are still shooting film. Does this work with a film camera? It does. It's universal. And again, because it's malleable, um, you can have even an old school transport on, okay. on the film cameras where you can advance the film through it. We have people using everything from film, DSLR, mirrorless. We even have a lot of medium format customers. Oh, really? That big? So for example, a phase one customer, a lot of those uh, cameras aren't weather sealed. 
Right. Right. So if you've got a phase one and you're going on a desert shoot or in the sand or on the beach and you don't want any of the elements to get into the lenses or any of the controls, uh, we have customers that love our product for that because it protects the camera in those environments. Okay. So you say, you know, phase one, medium format, you know, we've got Sony uh, A7 IIs in here. Uh, how many different size bodies can you accommodate? We have basically three sizes fit all. We have a small size that does not have glass on the back. We call that the entry. That's for truly the beginner, somebody that's not that's just okay. going to shoot on auto, right? Yeah. But then for the pro customer, which does have the optical glass on the back, we only have two sizes. Regular, which is this, okay. and that fits most cameras, most lenses, most use. But we have a larger version for a medium format camera that's ideal but also for a tele-zoom lens, or for a battery grip, or Got for it. a full-size camera. Like if you're using a, a Canon 1D Mark III, or a D5 Nikon, something like yeah. that. So it's just a bigger housing, a bigger, bigger cover, okay. that accommodates not only for the bigger camera, but for bigger lenses. So for example, we have people doing... How big a lens? Uh, you can go as far as a 400 millimeter oh, lens. Geez. Depending okay. on whether it extends or not, got it. A 70 to 200 would easily fit, and you can even fit a 70 to 200 in the regular. But you might as well get the large for that. And if you're doing, you know, like landscape or bird watching, you know, we have people that do uh, glacier um, time lapse uh -huh. work, and that works well for that. The other thing, since we're, we're talking about this, is that we've made the system modular. So we have different housings that accommodate tripod adapters. Oh, you do. And we also have housings that accommodate tethering. So we have uh, different patents on different parts of the system that are modular and grow with your needs. So we have a lot of camera crews, you know, not just um, enthusiasts, but we have professionals shooting on The Amazing Race, you know, Survivor, awesome. Netflix, you know, a, a lot of production companies in Los Angeles where we're based use our product for a variety of, uh, of their needs. Yeah, well, you know, like I said, we've been shooting all day here for this man overboard drill, and you've been getting good enough to get in and out of the water with your gear. And it, really, the performance I've seen today has just been flawless, and uh, you know, I'm really intrigued by this product and excited to give it a chance, you know, give it a try myself. So um, where can we find out more about this? Altex.com. O-U-T-E-X.com has all the information that you need. Um, we sell direct online. We are selling through B&H Photo and we sell through Amazon. But at Altex.com you have the full uh, choice of products we make. We don't, we don't sell through those others on everything. Okay. So we just kind of sell the most popular stuff. But everything you need is at Altex.com which includes uh, questions, you know, answers to frequently asked questions. And most important, it includes a pretty broad community of users. Because we have such a wide gamut of users, everything from surfers to divers to, uh, you know, wedding photographers, you know, adventure photographers, sports photographers, it's nice to bring that community together because they get not only inspiration, but they, they're sort of pushing the envelope of what they can do with their camera, and they share a lot of information. So you can see other people using the product, get your questions answered, and you can buy the product right there. Awesome. Well, if you want to see more of the work that's being done with this product, I know Altex has an incredible Instagram page. It's under Real Altex. And you can see what other photographers are doing with this product. It's really inspiring stuff. It makes me want to go out and shoot more. And uh, like I said, I can't wait so I can get a chance to use this in a real sailing situation at a big race sometime soon. So Altex, JR, he's the man. <laughs> <laughs>